something that's measurable, something that's going to fall from the sky. We have not had that in quite some time. And dry conditions continue. Now, we do have a series of lows that are moving to the north of us. That's just knocking our temperatures down from time to time. But for the most part, we are going to stay dry over the next eight days. Take a look at our highs for today. We had 65 degrees for downtown right on the money when it comes to a seasonal high. Also fell short of that with that seasonal temperature. And that was for Ramona, the same for Borrego Springs. But we had widespread 60s today. It was feeling like December. Right now we have some of those low clouds starting to move in. This is a view looking west from Mount Woodson and for downtown. We are seeing a few of those clouds. 57 degrees and marine layers are moving on in and also some light winds out of the west. So as it goes, as we go into tonight, just keep in mind that's going to bunch up right along the coastal mountain slopes. At best, maybe a little bit of drizzle, hopefully, but for the most part, yeah, we're going to stay nice and dry over the next couple of days. So a series of lows moving to the north of us. As a result, that's going to keep that trough of low pressure over the west. So for tomorrow, still talking about temperatures falling short of seasonal by a few degrees. And then we have the eastern edge of an area of high pressure that's going to impact us into Sunday. But at the surface, that's also an area of high pressure that's going to be over the Great Basin that's going to trigger those Santa Ana winds. So below seasonal for tomorrow, but then we're transitioning to temperatures warmer than usual by Sunday west of the mountains as a result of the return of those winds. The strongest for the mountain passes in the foothills, we're talking gusts about 25 to 30 miles per hour. So not as intense and not as strong as the past two Santa Ana wind events where we've had gusts up to 80 miles per hour, even 90s. We're not talking about that as we go into Sunday and then once again on Tuesday, but it will be relatively dry, relative humidity values for inland valleys stretching all the way towards the desert around 15%. So an elevated fire concern will be there right along the coast. Something to be mindful of by next week is the potential for some minor, coast, minor coastal flooding, and that's with the return of king tide. So that extra pull on our high tides in the morning hours for the eight o'clock hour, we're talking a little bit more than six feet. That will be the case for Monday as well as Tuesday, but backing off as we hit Wednesday. Taking a look at your eight day microclimate forecast, 60s next couple of days, going back into the 70s, that will be for the inland valleys on Sunday in response to the weak Santa Ana winds, and then backing off of that by Monday, back to a near seasonal high. But then once again on Tuesday, we're talking about the return of those Santa Ana winds gusts about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Those 70s are going to stick around throughout much, much of next week. Also taking a look at uh, temperatures for the mountains, 50s going strong into the weekend. Just kind of fluctuating back and forth over the next eight days for the desert with 60s and 70s.